Hey guys, happy, happy, happy Thursday. I just came from the kitchen warming up my TV dinner. Yes, it was. So what y'all having for lunch today? Put some pepper on this cool in here. And some pepper. I like pepper. Yes. And I got me some strawberries from the house for dessert. didn't bring a fork around here and I'm out of forks up in my cabinet I need to replenish it I got some knives but no forks I don't think I have any spoons either I'll go to the kitchen later and get me some y'all I finally did it I finally did it but I'll tell y'all in a minute let me bless my food thank you Jesus I was about to receive the nurse my body Christ in the y'all know Got my little Coke Zero. Really ain't that cold. I forgot to put it in the freezer. Do y'all have a refrigerator abandoned at y'all job? It's getting so you can't leave yourself in the refrigerator. People think they do have a lot of giveaway stuff in the um, kitchen. You know, because they have lunches and stuff here all the time. So we can go around and get something. But normally it's out. You know. And, you know, if I get something, I ask. But people just been helping themselves to whatever in there now. It's like, uh, do you have to put your name on your stuff to know it don't belong to you? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, and I'll give you anything. If you're hungry, just come right here and ask me for a can of soup or whatever, what you need. But just please don't help yourself to my stuff in the refrigerator. Right I'm putting it in there for my lunch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, y'all. I finally got a P.O. box. Now, let me remember, hopefully, to put the darn P.O. box thing down in there today. I know. It took me forever, y'all. And I had to go to the post office two days before I finally got it. Oh, just. I'm going to get myself together. Now, I got to remember to go check it. Because so you know I'm, I forget. I forget that. Anybody going to taste of Atlanta? Look, that's that chicken fried stuff. This is so good. Put mm. that gravy on it. This weekend. My daughter's godmother. And I had thought about going there. To Lambert's in Missouri, they went. It's just a restaurant. Have anybody ever been there? They throw the rolls at you. Mm. Yeah, let me waste my little coin. It ain't like these dog meals are very big. My co worker bought me some sweet potatoes. Somebody gave her son that has a farm. I was like, thank you. <laughs> she took me. She said, no. Make sure you wash them good now because they got dirt on them. Well, yeah. My uncle has a trucking farm. And that's one of the main things that he has on his farm, a sweet potato. He does other stuff, greens and things like that too, but... Did 
I asked y'all what y'all was having for lunch? Yeah, my coworker and I were talking. I think it was yesterday. About veterans. And I was just talking to her about my dad's experience when he retired from the military. How? And my dad had two master's degrees. How it was very difficult for him to get a job coming out of the military. And he eventually worked in communications at the post office. However, he had to work at at um that's how veterans are treated. Not saying it was a bad job, but he ended up, I think it was a manager at, I know he was a manager at Church's Chicken for a while. And this is the job he had to take us. He, even though three of us, three, four, four of us were grown, he still had small children at home. Um, so he took on the job working as a manager in churches and I think it was Hardy's if I'm not mistaken but he said he that was the only job he could really get he had a hard time finding a position so at the time he worked for this temp service he also had worked for when he stopped doing that worked for this temp service called No Rail and at any rate, he was on his tip assignment and doing something similar to what he did in the military. And he, they had an opening, and he applied an interview for the job. The manager actually told him he couldn't hire him because he had more experience than he did, and he was worried about his own position. And so my dad ended up quitting. That day, he, he walked out that day. He said, no, I'm not going to do this. Mm. It's sad how I think that stuff still goes on the day. But you know, these people go and serve and they come back and can't get jobs and, you know, it's sad. But anyway, that's another story too how I ended up doing this I was in school when doing what I'm doing now and I was in school y'all and I just you know you when you're young you like I'm just tired of the school mm. I work several little fast time jobs before you have any real responsibility in the kids and um, I was just perking along so my dad helped me get on at the post office as a casual. <laughs> Y'all, I worked at that book mail center throwing the mail bags on the Mississippi, Arkansas, I think it was Tennessee Belt. Mm -mm. I said, let me hear him go back to school. This is not my type of work. And it's so funny. I think it was my daughter's first year of college. She was. Oh, somebody at the front desk calling me. I think I got a box delivered up there. Where's my ID? Oh, okay. I thought I left it on there. Anyway. I made it work in the summer when she came home because she was acting real funny about she didn't want to go back to Atlanta. She wouldn't even really like the school and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Fine. You either gonna work or go to school. So, she started working. At this warehouse, do a temp service for that summer, and of course it was hot, y'all out there. But then I don't think they'd make like eight something out. And she found out. She said, "This is enough spending money for me, Mama." She was working four hours a week. She said, "But these people are actually taking care of their families on this." I said, "Well, yeah." And I never once told her 
she had to go back to school. Because that has to be your decision. Because unlike most, I think college is great. I think education is great. But it is not for everybody. Some people are meant to do something else. And you can still be successful. Although I love education. I'm a proponent of it. I support it. But I told her, if it's not what you want to do, you know, you go ahead and get your job. Get your, get your work on. You have to decide. Somebody, you know, somebody, somebody just let me know before I pay this tuition. So, honey, by the end of some, she said, Mama, I don't know how people do it. I'm going back to school. I said, okay, you do that. And she had a talk with me yesterday. You know, she majored in accounting. Um, she was telling me her co-work was telling her, which is true. Some of the people she graduated with college, and y'all, I thank God every day. Because there's so many of these college students can't get jobs when they graduate. And then they go into grad school. But she um, said her co-worker said, you're doing so much better than a lot of people that have graduated from school. And I was so happy when she told me, she said, Mama, I realize I'm blessed. Yes, you are. She said, come. There's some people that graduated in her class that can't get jobs in their field. They waitering and a waitressing, doing whatever they got to do. And I said, yeah. It's unfortunate that it happens, but it's true. I don't know. And then it's already, even when you have something, you already lost. Sometimes moving in and transitioning into adult. But I gave her a year to stay with me after she graduated. And I still help her. I still pay her car insurance. Car note. I make her give me $200 a month on that. But it's almost paid for. But, you know. But after this, in May, you going to be having it all to yourself. Of course, you'll have paid for a car. That's a 2012 Altima, but... You better hang on that car as long as you can. I have noticed she's pretty good about saving a little money. Y'all, that was good. Let me taste these strawberries. They might have to have some help. Cut that off. Oh, they actually pretty sweet. But I'm going to put a little salt on them. Yeah. So y'all, if you got kids and they doing something positive and they been blessed to have a job, especially if they graduate, Lord knows. I'm thanking God. I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause honey, education expensive. I'm in six figures worth of student loan debt. Wow. I've been listening to Dave Ramsey the past few days. I listen to him, Sue Garman, other financial gurus. Not, not to say I follow everything they say, but uh, I'm like, honey, I'm trying to get out of debt. That's probably it. Mm-hmm. They so loud up here. I guess they working. <laughs> I've been back here in this corner by myself so long. I almost don't know how to act with people around me. There's noise. So I try to be cognizant of making too much noise back here but cause sometimes and I have to be on a lot of conference calls meeting and education I educate some of the people out in the field on how to do some processes sometimes when they want something funded for 
to get funds and how to go through the process to get approved and help them to fill out the information and what they need so they'll get it. You know, the first time without it being rejected. So, mm, that one went good. Sometimes I know I be loud as hell. But what be killing me is the ones where officers and doors be loud. What do you want to say? Close your door. <laughs> anyway, I got two more of these. These strawberries was going bad. Y'all you know, used to laugh, but now this is something that go bad quick. joining me for a meal and a chat hope you're having a great thursday and having a wonderful lunch i know that you're loved i love you but god loves you the most remember to always be kind to yourself and others be joyful and be blessed and i will see you later on this week i hope when i'm at the little festival um the taste of atlanta i'm gonna try to do a little bit vlogging I say that, but Lord knows my mind is this long. And then when I get there, I just be walking around and through this stuff and forget to pull out my camera. But anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.